this is my walking animation. And this is the stage I'm at. <laughs> this is Gunpoint. Uh, it's a game I'm making about sneaking into high security buildings at night and doing crimes, basically. As you can see, it needs some art and animation help. If you're interested, I'll put details of this video. Um, either way, I'm just going to play through it and explain the game as I go. So you're the super agent guy, and the idea of the game is that you can rewire its levels. You're not really going to see it on this level. I just threw myself through a plate glass window. But later on, you can break into buildings by reconfiguring how all the devices in them work. It's a platformer, but not really in the Mario sense. I didn't want it to require any manual skill, so you can aim your jumps and see exactly where they'll go. And jumping on people doesn't kill them, uh, so there's a lot more face punching than there is in a normal platformer. Now obviously the first question anyone's going to ask about a secret agent game is, hey, can you use light switches in this game? Well, ladies and gentlemen, yes you can, and it is thrilling. Guards will always go to the nearest light switch when they're in the dark, so that lets you lure them into traps or through locked doors. Like this guy on the ground floor, he's going to open that door for me, and I'll be able to get through that later. In this prototype, the objective is always just to get to a computer and steal some data, but in the final thing, you're going to be interrogating people at gunpoint, uh, beating people up, breaking stuff, planting bugs, rescuing hostages, um, and probably stealing data from computers. But the point of the game really is rewiring stuff, and you have this little device called the crosslink, uh, and when you get it out you can see all the underlying circuits in a level. On this level it's pretty simple, it's just a light switch wired to a light, um, and you can drag these connections around and connect them up to whatever you want. I want to get through that door, so I can just drag the light switch to the electronic lock, and then pressing the switch will open the door instead of turning off the lights. And if you have any, you know, electrical engineer friends and you ask them, they'll tell you this is pretty much how electricity works. It's, you know, wires are mostly magic. I'm going to skip all the easy levels where you'd normally practice this and get straight to the tricky stuff. Uh, Cross-linking obviously gives you a lot of power, so when the game gets harder, you find circuits you don't immediately have access to. So you can see some of the connections of this level are black. Those are on circuits I haven't tapped into yet. But I can still get in here because the uh, switch on the other side of this door is on the blue circuit. So I can rewire that to the door and then trick the guard into pressing it by turning the lights off from my side. He tries to switch a couple of times, then he gets confused and just tries to get out of the dark. And in fact, he ends up next to a power switch, a uh, power socket, which I can wire to a switch. And uh, when that's activated, it will uh, knock him out. <laughs> I'm uh, hoping to win in a war for that effect, actually. I want to get to that red wire, so I might just turn the lights off here and pass this guy when it comes out. Guards can't. <laughs> I was going to say, guards can't see very far in the dark. Uh, maybe I'll just tell you about the save feature instead. Uh, I generally assume that uh, if you do something in cross-link mode, it was probably quite clever. And if you did something and got you shot, it's probably quite stupid. And so it saves when you come out of cross-link mode. So the whole level is set up the way you left it. Like that power socket was still linked up to that switch. But you get another chance to do the action bit. Uh, now I want to get onto that ground floor, uh, but first I need to turn off that security camera so it won't set off the alarm when I get there. And for this last guy, uh, I want to take him out using a trick that I found when I was making the game. Doors always open away from the hand scanner thing that, was tri that triggers them, so normally a guard will never open a door in his own face. But I can rewire those so that the left one triggers the right one. The door thinks he's coming from the other direction. I'll just make sure his light switch isn't going to work, so he has to leave the room to get out of the dark. And then turn off the lights. <laughs> and it hits him in the face. When I got that tr trick working, the game is basically done. Everything else I've done since then is just embarrassing. So the last thing I want to show you is what happens when you grab one of the guard's guns. If you actually fire one, someone's going to hear it and call the police, so they'll guard all the exits within about 30 seconds. So the main use of guns is defensive uh, to the gunpoint. I'm playing a bit on the movie logic that if you point a gun at someone, they won't shoot you in case you fire back uh, when you're hit. So this guy on the ground floor, uh, if I just jump down there, he'd kill me in a second. But if I keep my gun trained on him as I drop down, he can't fire back. And it gives me some time to get to the light switch, kill the lights, and then I can jump over him on the dark and get to this PC. And then as long as I can the gunpoint, I can wait for this lift and get out. 
which point you're going to see uh, some of those beautiful animations in the game. <laughs> uh, that is not supposed to work like that. Uh, so again, I do really need help with animation. Uh, the prototype is super rough in loads of ways, but the rest of them I can fix myself. It's just the art and animation I need help with. Gunpoint's going to be completely free, uh, just making it to try out some ideas, and it'll probably be out this year sometime. If you're interested in testing the next version of it, email at gmail.com, and uh, anything else I write about it will be on my blog, which is pentadac.com.